Always a great way to start off the week speaking with Milton Mayor Gord Kranz. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, Jason, and good morning to all of our listeners out there in TV land. And thanks very much once again to your TV for interviewing us individuals in Halton here to keep our listeners informed as what's going on in our respective municipalities and, of course, this great region of Halton. Well, there's lots to talk about, Mayor, and let's kick things off today with data recently released by Statistics Canada showing Milton has grown 20% in five years. We know that Milton is just a booming town. The population is going up, 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 but 20% in five years for someone who's been the mayor for many years. Is this a surprising stat? Not really, uh, Jason. It's interesting how a person can uh, dissect uh, that kind of information, especially when it comes to real numbers and percentages. And of course, uh, and I'll just use uh, uh, the number 10. Uh, if there was 10 people in Milton a year ago, and we went to 20 people, that's a 100% uh, increase. So those are numbers that you really got to keep your eye on. And I remember on a couple of uh, Canadian census when we were, we were the fastest growing municipality in Canada. That, of course, is when we were roughly 30,000 uh, people, when we hit, I think, as I recall, roughly 70% uh, increase, which was quite significant percentage-wise. But in real numbers, it probably was no different than what's happened today when we're down around 20%. So it's interesting how you can dissect some of those numbers. But no, there was no surprise there. Uh, Milton is continu continuing to grow. Now, at the risk of uh, quoting too many numbers, and, and I knew some of the questions uh, that was going to come up this morning. Interesting enough, uh, Jason, I have here uh, the 2021 census and Mel's population with that uh, 2021 was 132,000. Now, fast forward to 2041, the prediction is 277,000. Fast forward, to 2051. And these, of course, are some of the stats that the province uh, not only suggests the demand you make, uh, Mills population, a little less than 30 years from now, will be 350,870. That's pretty precise. And the odd part of it is, with that prediction, Milton will have more population than Oakville by roughly 1,000 people. So those are interesting statistics. Milton will be the biggest populated area in the region of Halton, as you and I know it today. So interesting stuff to look forward to. Mark it in your little black book and see. I think they're going to be pretty accurate. To, now, within a 1,000, I'm not sure, but they'll be rounding that off pretty close to it in 30 years' time. I love the fact that you've done your homework for this interview. That was quite the statistic parade you decided to, to spit out there. Well, That's lovely. Well, thank you very much for that. But I think it's interesting for uh, people that are watching. It's so easy to look in the rearview mirror, but it's much more difficult to look down the road. Uh, and that's really what we attempt to do here in, in Melton, of course, in Halton, looking down the road as to what uh, the municipalities are going to look like. And that's what it's going to look like 30 years from now. Well, listen, let's look both back to 2022 and ahead to 2023 with our next topic. Uh, townhouse and condo sales have dropped 34% in Milton last year. Uh, and the buzzword from last year is inflation. Clearly going forward into 2023, the buzzword looks to be potential recession. I'm curious, from your perspective, what can be done at a municipal level to combat recession? Well, we all have to do our little part, and I include us uh, politicians at the local and regional level. Uh, one of the things that I attempt to do is to make sure that I don't, when I say I, as a, an elected person, don't contribute greatly to inflation. And, and I know we're talking about uh, significant, potential significant property tax increases. But guess what that does? That adds to inflation. So I've always been of the opinion you cannot spend your way into prosperity. It just does not work. There's a real sensitive balance there. And again, if everyone, including you and me, went into a cocoon and didn't spend any of our earnings, then uh, it's a uh, recession big time then. And of course, the economy would uh, fall apart. So 
there's a real delicate balance there as to what has to be achieved when it comes to uh, you know economics of the country, and not only Melton and Halton, but we're part of a uh, global phenomena, and it's it's cyclical. And of course, we're in one of those cycles uh, right now. And you've definitely seen it before, and you will see it again this year. So let's talk about that delicate balance. Uh, then that being heading into a new year, that means budget time. We've got both the regional and municipal budget coming up. What should residents expect? Well, right now, and again, I can only speculate. And, uh, you know, what's being recommended by staff right now is roughly a an 8% uh, tax increase locally, which I've gone on record already suggesting that I have some real difficulty, of course, supporting that. Uh, and I know the rate of inflation is up and around there. It's the last that I've been aware of, uh, it's around the 6 7%. So they're not too far out on the rate of inflation. But again, you heard me mention earlier on that I don't want to contribute to inflation as well. So I'd like to personally see it get down to, you know, three or four percent increase. And I know that's realistic uh, as far as I'm concerned. Will some of the service services suffer a little bit? There's a potential for some of that. But uh, uh, sometimes you have to sacrifice a little bit to right the ship. And I don't want the ship to be listing uh, too much either one way or the other here in Melton and or in Halton. So. We talk about that delicate balance, and there is that delicate balance uh, there as well. So, you know, you can't just cut, cut, cut. Uh, that doesn't work either. You And I don't uh, suggest that there be no tax increase at all. That doesn't work either with uh, inflation the way that you and I know it evolving right now. Uh, I refer to it very crudely as going ahead backwards, and I certainly don't want that to happen to this community. Well, Mayor Kranz, I think the next time we speak, we'll have a better gauge of what the budget actually is, and that will be in a month's time. So look forward to doing that, and thanks for your time today. Well, thank you, uh, Jason, and thanks very much to our listening audience out there as to what's happening here in Milton and in Halton. Have a great month of January, and we'll talk to you next month, Jason. Have a good one.